In this video, we will determine an exponential function given two points using the TI-84. We're asked to determine the equation of an exponential function passing through 0, 6 and 2, 13.5. We're asked to indicate the initial value and if the function represents exponential growth or decay, and then finally determine f of 5. Notice how the first ordered pair is 0, 6, and since 6 is the output when the input is 0, we should recognize that 6 is the initial value or the value of a. But let's assume we don't recognize this. The first step is to enter the ordered pairs into the graphing calculator. And we do this under list 1 and list 2. We will enter the x values in L1 and the y values in L2. Going to the calculator, we press STAT and then ENTER. We need to clear L1 and L2 by going to the top of the list, press clear, and then enter. And now we will enter the x values in L1, which are 0, enter, 2, enter. Right arrow to L2 and enter the y values of 6, enter, 13.5, enter. Now we'll go back to the home screen by pressing second mode and perform exponential regression. We press stat, right arrow wants to calculate, and now we need to select exponential regression, which is option zero. So if we scroll down past nine, exp reg represents exponential regression. We press enter, and now if you don't see this screen because you have an older T84, you can just press enter to perform the exponential regression. On this newer version, we arrow down to calculate and press enter. The exponential function is in the form of y equals a times b raised to the power of x, where a is equal to 6 and b is equal to 1.5. Let's go ahead and record this information. So again, we have a equals 6 and b equals 1.5. And let's convert this to a fraction if we go back to the calculator, if we enter 1.5, math, enter, enter, notice how it does convert 1.5 to 3 halves. So it doesn't matter whether we use the decimal or the fraction because both are exact. So our exponential function using function notation is f of x equals a, which is 6, times b, which is, I'm going to use 3 halves, raise the power of x. The initial value is a, which is 6. Because the base is 3 halves or 1.5, which is greater than 1, we have exponential growth. And finally, we're asked to determine f of 5. So we substitute 5 for x, which gives us 6 times 3 halves raised to the fifth power. And now we'll go back to the calculator. We have 6 and then times 3 halves, or 3 divided by 2, raised to the power of 5, enter. Let's convert this to a fraction by pressing math, enter, enter, which gives us 729 sixteenths. I hope you found this helpful.